All right, and for topic number 25, I'm gonna show you how to graph two lines. But what we're gonna end up talking about here is, is something you may have learned before, something called solving system of linear equations by graphing. So a system of linear equation is referring to a set of two or more equations with two or more variables, okay? So these things are two dimensional speaking. If I'm using three variables, three equations, that means I'm doing, you know, that means I'm de dealing with three dimension. So what's going on here is, is my example right here, two linear equation, two, um, two system of linear equation together, two linear equation together is called a system, okay? Together is called a system. And this system consists of two equations, which means two straight lines. So in order to solve for both X and the Y value, we will be looking for the point of intersection. See where the two lines intersect, okay? Now, if I draw two lines, what can two lines do? Two lines can intersect at one point, and that point intersection is what I'm seeking. Two lines can also parallel. Well, if two lines are parallel, that means they will never intersect. So parallel lines, it, as far as the system concerns, it has no solution. Because it never intersect, okay? By the way, straight line cannot intersect twice, <laughs> okay? Just like you and him or you and her, right? It's only one. Together, you're a one. Find, have you found your point of intersection yet? Have y'all found your point of intersection yet? No? Rhett? No girlfriend? Okay. <laughs> All right. Somebody told me, Mr. Chan, man, you know, I'm so old already. You know, I always been single. Well, there you go. Parallel lines. All right. Two lines can also be on top of one another. So how many times do they intersect? If two lines that are exactly the same and you draw both of them, they are on top of one another. Okay, so how many times do the two lines intersect? Infinite number of times. So if you ever see two, you know, a system with two equations that are exactly the same, they have infinite solutions. Okay, this is what two lines can do. Uh, intersect one point, don't intersect or intersect everywhere. So here we go. We're gonna write the first equation. So my, the first one I wrote you, will, uh, the first one you see will be the first equation, okay? This is the second equation. Write the first equation in slope intersect form. Then you're gonna write down its slope in the y intercept. So 2x plus y equal to 5. My variable term is positive. Let it stay there. I'm going to move the 2x over. So my y is still y equals negative 2x plus 5. All right. Solve for y. Write. So these are all the work you're going to show me, OK? Um, then you're gonna state its slope. The slope is negative two. I'm gonna go ahead and say two over one because I needed to plot points. Semicolon, y intercept is gonna be zero comma five. All right. Ultimately, it's about finding the point of intersection of the two lines. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead, you know, once I got my first equation slope and y-intercept, I'm gonna go ahead and put some points on the graph, okay? Let me put some points on the graph. Oh my, the blue. I'm gonna give myself some red points, okay? What? 
All right. So I'm going to do my first line in blue. See if I can get them. Y intercept, zero, phi. So that will be simply go up five on the origin. Follow your slope. My slope tells me to go down two to the right one from the point I just plotted. Down two to the right one. That'll be right there. Okay, I'm gonna continue. I need to throw some points so we can actually see this line before we actually connect them, okay? Don't be like, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and connect them. Don't go ahead and connect, just plot your points. Uh, I'm gonna, so from the point that it's plotted, I'm gonna go down two to the right one, okay? I'm not connecting them. I'm just gonna leave them like it is. All right, now go work on the second one. Second equation. Right, the second equation in slope intercept form, x minus y equal to four. My variable term is negative. Let it, so I'm gonna move it. Bring the positive four back. So my equation should say y equals x still x, positive four come over, become negative. So y equal to mx plus b. By the way, what is this number right in front of x? One, right? It's one x. So my slope is one. I'm gonna go ahead and say one over one. So that remind me, I need to go up one to the right one. Since it's positive, go up one to the right one. My y-intercept zero comma negative four, okay? All right, so starting from the y-intercept, second line, starting from the origin down four, that'll be right there. My slope tell me to go up one to the right one, up one to the right one from the y-intercept. If I keep going though, up one to the right one, up one to the right one, do you see where we're gonna intersect? Because if you simply just draw it, uh, sometimes it's kind of hard. Earlier, blue, the blue slope, down two, one, two, to the right one. So this is the point of an intersection, right there. So you trace, you use a slope to trace to the point of intersection. So the two lines, oh Lord, sorry. The two line will actually end up, oh my God. Let me use this. The two line will actually intersect at this point right here. And what is that point? One, two, three down one. So the point of intersection is actually three comma negative one. So that's my answer. So what that means is this particular X value and Y value, if you substitute them into both equation, it will actually satisfy the entire system. So this must be the solution to the entire system. Okay, called a point intersection. All right, let's try another one. It's nothing hard, it's just, this is just all we do here. So work on one, then work on the other, okay? Give myself some points here. Oop. All right. Let me work on the first line. All right, so for y, write a slope intercept form. And we're gonna write a slope. I'm gonna move my negative y over, bring the seven back. So that will be two x minus seven equal to positive y. So my slope m is two, two means two over one. My y intercept, zero comma negative seven.
All right, I'm gonna give myself a couple points here, okay? Zero negative seven is down here. My slope tells me to go up two to the right one, 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 that'd be somewhere right there, okay? So just a few points. Then I'm gonna go work on my second equation. That Y is positive. So I'm gonna let it stay there. So I get y equals negative 3x plus 7. So this time my slope m is negative 3 over 1. My y-intercept, 0 comma 7. Paste, paste, paste. All right, zero seven will be from the origin. Let's go up seven right there. My slope tell me to go down three, one, two, three to the right one. That'll be right there. So as you can see, right, the blue go this way, the red go this way. So they will intersect somewhere right here. So let's go again, down three, one, two, three to the right one right there. So if I go one more time, down three, one, two, oh Lord, did that messed up? Hey. Hold on a minute, did I messed up? Five, six, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three, to the right one. Did I messed up somewhere? Up two, up two, one, two. I can't see it. Why did I skip it? Unless I'm typing something wrong in the problem. Negative uh, uh, seven. <coughs> One, two, three. Oh man, I barely missed it. I bet. I bet I missed something. Negative three x. I might make a mistake. Why? Why I copy the problem down? Normally, normally it will be it will be accurate. Hang on a second. Ah, oh, crap, I missed it. I wrote something down wrong. I, I, I apologize. I wrote one of these numbers wrong in the problem. But on the homework, it shouldn't be like that. On the test, it should not be like that. They should be intersecting at a integer point, okay? So that was my fault. But we get idea. All right. Solve for Y for me real quick. Before we come off this topic, let me solve for Y. I'm going to... Double check, make sure my numbers are good. Solve for y for both the equation, We're right on the slope and the y-intercept, so we can um, we can work at them together. There you go, lots of point, lots of point, lots of point.
All right. Are you okay? My first line, slope is negative four over one. My y-intercept, zero comma negative three. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to zero comma negative three. That'd be right here. And then use my slope. All right, down four, one, two, three, four, to the right one. Oh yeah, okay, if I go one more time, down four to the right one, I'll be outside of my what? Outside of my graph, right? Okay, so how about we backtrack? The first point I plotted was the y-intercept right here. So if I go backwards, which means go up four to the left one. One, two, three, four to the left one. This must be the point before the y-intercept. So if I go again, one, two, three, four to the left one, you know, this is how we backtrack. This must be the point before that, okay? Sometimes you might need to backtrack, sometimes you don't. Um, check it out. The second equation, the slope is negative three over two, the y-intercept, zero, two, right? So if I will go to zero, two, that would be right here. If I follow my slope down three, one, two, three, to the right two, that will be right here. So can y'all see that the two lines both of them going down the hill, both of them going down the hill, just by visualize it, both of them going down the hill. So that what I mean is they will probably intersecting somewhere in the second quadrant, okay? So I don't need to keep on going down to the right, I need to backtrack. So the ray one is normally down three to the right two, if I backtrack is up three to the left two. Bam, right there. That would be the point of intersection right here. And that's how we find the point of intersection by tracking the slope. So one goes this way. And one goes the other way. All right, so this point of intersection This point intersection will be okay. This point is to the left two from the from the origin of five. So that point intersection is negative two five. So you got to state the point intersection as well. Okay. All right. So that will conclude this video for how to solve the system of linear equation by simply plotting two um, by graphing two lines. All right. Uh.